go. <clears throat> yeah. Mm. Episode. I'm Let trying to fucking start <laughs> the fucking show. Shut up. Thank you. God. <clears throat> trying to fucking pump us up. We're always like, what are we doing? I'm doing the fucking intro. <laughs> then do it. I'm trying to. I have one prep. My God. Now it's not going to pay off as good. <laughs> Shit. Fucking three podcasts in a row where I have no energy. I finally have energy. And this guy's like, oh. Can, right. I, can I do the intro that I have to prep for this fucking episode? Do it. I don't even want to do it anymore. And I'm angry. Do it. Do it. Do it. <sighs> I was going to say ABC. It's as easy one, as one, two, two three. three. Welcome to episode 123 of the Joystick Show. Joey, leave. Just fucking get out of here. <laughs> first, I'm ever Bobby. Person, first person to ever get kicked <laughs> off of the Joystick Show. I'm watching reality television. I've been getting We're heated. I'm heated and I want to eliminate people per week. <laughs> eliminate. Welcome to episode 123 of the Joystick Show. I am Bobby. Dylan. I'm Joey. I'm Jared. And we are here to, uh, I'm not even going to continue that spiel. It's not, we've been here every week for the past two years. So. We're talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we've uh, started today. It's going to continue until one of us chokes on bread. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's, that's how it ends. If you Specifically are. bread. Yep. Get ready for the bread making episode coming <laughs> shortly. That's where it all ends. <laughs> yeah, maybe we'll be uh, we'll be ranking bread today. Maybe something like that. Yeah. Can you shut like up that. with the teases, man? Hey, Just let it happen normally. I'm a, I'm a tease. I'm sorry. God. I'm a teaser. Yeah, maybe there'll be some some. Some, I don't know, some bread ranks or know. whatever the fuck they some want to do. Whatever. <laughs> Before we get into anything on this episode, it'd be really helpful if you could like this episode of the Joystick Show. If you could subscribe to Team Joystick and tell your friends. Yeah. You need to get those sub numbers up. Seriously. You guys mm-hmm. have been good about it recently. We've been getting a lot of new subs and viewers. And support, some comments. Very much nice. appreciate nice. that. Yeah. Shout out to all you newbies. Uh, you are now friendos. Welcome. Yeah. <laughs> uh, not much to say other in, in, in terms of the intro. I mean, we could get cracking right yeah. onto the nifty shifty. I mean, I was just going to talk about the weekend we spent together because mm. that was quite special. We, uh, I, I said that like we did something. We really spent, like, we, uh, yeah, we, we went we went on to Fiji. We went on a yeah. wellness retreat we in a, Fiji. Yeah. Sabbatical. Yeah. Mm. And by that, we celebrated Jerry's birthday at a, yeah. at a chain restaurant. Yeah. But we had a great time. Two, six, baby. I haven't laughed like that in a really long time. It was some good. It was more. a good laugh. Really good laugh. <laughs> there was like three moments where I was like, my stomach hurts. Yeah. <laughs> Not from food, but uh-huh. from. I think, uh, can, can I just like go over some of my favorite moments yes. in general? Mm. I really, really liked, yeah. uh, I really, oh, I, by the way, if you hear faint meowing, shout outs to Squishy outside of the door who very much wants to hang out in here, but yeah, you know, he wants to chill <laughs> can't right boys. now. No, I was going to say fucking, uh, I, some, something that really killed me was, uh, when Joey was sitting next to Ronfi and Joey picked up on something that <laughs> Ronfi said that nobody else seemed to really hear. No, I did not. It so yeah, we had like this, uh, you know, those little placards or whatever not placard may not been the word but the things that they have on the the fucking table that have all the drink op- not yeah. options but they advertise the drinks so you know like you sit there and you're the like triangle oh, kinda, yeah the triangle thing that fucking one of the the, the drinks that they were promoting was the foxy grandpa yes. so <laughs> yes, yes, yes. rafi took a took a look at this triangle thing saw the advertisement and in joe joey what did he say <laughs> I well, I actually looked at it and I said Foxy Grandpa, like as the SpongeBob references, and then I yeah. thinking that he was gonna continue with the SpongeBob references. He was like, <laughs> Foxy Grandpa railed by BBC, <laughs> and I was, I had to, me and Jerry looked at each other like, Ronfi did not just say that. <laughs> And Ron the, be- the best part about it is me, Dylan, Jerry, and Jose are having a completely different. No, discussion. I heard him say that, and I, I couldn't. I like, I'm, I couldn't continue having the conversation. I'm stuck. I'm like, wait, what? Me and Jerry like, looked at each meme, other, bro. Like, <laughs> me and Jerry looked at each other and then looked to you guys, and you guys were there, and we were like. Yeah, you guys are having a whole nother conversation. You know what the <laughs> fuck was going on? We were like, what the fuck are you talking yeah. about? And then when Joey messaged to us under the table, we were, Jose immediately was like, no. <laughs> the best part about Jose, too, is he straight up went to Ronfi. He's like, Ronfi, what did you say? He said, Foxy Grandpa, what? And he said it right out again. Foxy Grandpa, real by BBC. <laughs> we're like, what the fuck? What was it? What did he say? He's like, I read it in a YouTube comment on yeah. a JoJo's video. It was like, yeah, it was like a JoJo meme. I was like, what the, the fuck? Meme for an I don't, I don't know if that's a JoJo did. meme. <laughs> yeah, I don't it's a JoJo it's beep. specifically that, yeah. Oh man! And then we went back to to Jerry's house and played some good rounds of uh, some some Jackbox. Yeah. We played the new Word. one, the set non-sensory. Yeah, that one was cool. Well, I actually I hated that one. No, that, that one was sucked. fun. I was the one that Jose liked a lot because Jose is kind of a 
Jose was good at that. That's why. Jose is kind of good with the nonsense. Uh, Hard to explain. It's a rating game. Like (laughs) we got that guy. That's a three. Yeah. This guy would never find love, and we drew something. We were like, "That's a three But Jose <laughs> nailed every three. single one of them. It made no sense. He's like, "That's nah, like a four and he'd like nail it, bro. That's like a four. We weren't even playing the game right, and he's getting them right. Yeah, that's <laughs> so you can tell how judgmental Jose is. Oh, word. Nah, and then uh, that's a seven. and then of course, come sorry. You know. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, Shut up. Fucking Jerrinson kept on saying, come sorry. And it started to visibly, like, annoy <laughs> Joey. And just watching Joey slightly collapse was the funniest thing. I was literally, like, hitting Jose's shoulder and pointing at Joey. And Joey's on the other couch, like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, man. Come sorry. But I had a great time. Play some words, bud. What was the thing that came out of that, too? Uh, bunk, bunk is crunk. Bunk, bunk is, is crunk. crunk. So that's the that's the chat name. Get ready for the new shirt. That game. Soon. I won that game, and I will admit that that game is the dumbest thing it in is human history. You know it's a just, game of like bad inside jokes. Yeah, what yeah. I just realized, we didn't even take a picture of the paragraph. Yeah, we did. We, we usually do that. But we didn't. We didn't you know what I did take a picture of? King bum. Yeah. King, King bum. bum. King bum. Love King Bum. I said that to my girlfriend and she thought it was the funniest thing ever. <laughs> All hell. She was like, This is amazing. Shout out to Jose's art style. All hell. I have another yeah. Jose original that's been sitting on my computer for at least four months now. Man, he <laughs> yeah, have for our merch. Crap. It's gonna have Jose stuff. <laughs> doesn't even have the stylus anymore. He's still doing Yeah, no. <laughs> it's one of those erasable tablets too. You all you have to do is press the button and it erases. So I took the battery out to prevent that ever being erased <laughs> yeah, it will be there it will permanently be my brap and i, I have to buy a new tab the funny thing my is brap. is jose will tell you i use that all yeah, the time yeah, yeah, yeah. where but after I, jose drew that i was like you have to have eight tablets now your room will just be tablets that jose <laughs> tablets drew. with art on it for sure. <laughs> yeah right and in future years we will all just them. i'll just ass and shit but in a cartoon <laughs> jose yeah. style you know Jose's mm. art style this dick he drew in 2025 <laughs> it's like fucking jonah hill and super bad <laughs> literally but I was also gonna throw away that we did we did go to eat. Yeah, I weird. I just wanted to say that I had one of the best burgers I've had in a while, and I was not expecting to. I was just like, I'll just have a burger because I have, I've been trying to eat more red meat lately. Yeah. But I ate that, and I was like, damn, that's like one of the best fucking burgers I've ever had. And it was just burgers the regular good, bacon cheeseburger. Mm-hmm. Where those those chain burgers be good. But uh, we we went to TGI Fridays Correct. on a Saturday, so yeah. I think we broke a rule. I don't yeah, know how that works, works. <laughs> but. Jerry, uh, not Jerry. Joey had a what was it? Joey had a, the a grape, grape lit? something lit. The grape lit something like that. Some, <laughs> everything <laughs> with Joey's food had fire in the name, and it threw me off. <laughs> and his Jerry. grape lit. I know what was it like your dragon breath wings or something? Like I had that? dragon grape glaze. lit and a roulette of like three different flavored <laughs> wings, and each flavored was like some form of because spicy. Joey lives dangerously. <laughs> uh, but we, we J- Dylan came up with a great idea. I can't even say we came up with a mm-hmm. good idea because Dylan hit me. Dylan hit me up with the the. The rare, I have an idea when it's oh, usually me idea. twice a day. Like, I yeah. have an idea, and then I answer an hour later, exactly. Like, yeah, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> but Dylan hit me up with one, and I immediately was like, That's great, and we're gonna do it. Uh, it's been a while to be specific been since like the week before Thanksgiving that we've done a little tier list. So, buckle up because we are going to do a sit down American chain restaurant tier list. Oh, yeah. shit. so here's one thing I want to specify. One, I don't know why there's two mouses on the screen. What the fuck is that about? Don't worry about that. Uh, is that a screenshot you have? On you no, it's literally uh, a very fresh. Probably for you to fix <laughs> the it. fuck is that? It's so strange. Oh, it's gone. There All right, you go. Six. Again. So real quick, I just want to I want to specify this. Okay. We have an an S to a D tier here, mm-hmm. and you know I can't actually customize the tiers. But I was gonna suggest that we reserve the D tier for restaurants we have not been to that we cannot give a rating yeah that's for. fair i haven't been to a lot of these so okay. if that were the case then the c tier would be considered the lowest tier you know what i'm saying okay, here? okay. is that fair i would fair. say so then the scale would kind of be c kind of shit b is average a, a pretty good s, s is, is top notch top. Cool. is that and fair d is we haven't eaten there because you have to you have to keep in mind a lot of these chain restaurants are you know geographic Not there's at least like three right. or four of these i don't know right off the bat yeah exactly right so, so you ready to go down it yes. all right yeah all right we got applebee's I'm just gonna say applebee's is shit terrible it's i had applebee's not too long ago to be honest and it's mid 
I'd give Applebee's low key oh. a C. I'm putting this yeah. in C. I think I think C. it deserves a C. The thing is, is I've had things that are good from Applebee's. Yeah, but that's not the baseline we're that's dealing not, with. Yeah, I already put it I, in C. So it's in C. I've had I've the last week I've had a couple of experiences not only with uh. Uh, Jerry's birthday, yeah. but I also went to yesterday. I went to the Cheesecake Factory. Oh, fire! So okay. I have now different found opinions on these chains. Interesting. Right? Interesting. <laughs> yeah, and this is also just giving us more uh, opp- or more incentive to actually go to these fucking restaurants. Yeah, we're uh, we have Buffalo Wild Wings. That's higher than Applebee's. In I my think opinion. it is. Yeah, but is it an A it's or niche? B? But it's, is it good? I think it's B. I don't think it's an S. It's definitely not an S. I don't know if I even put it in A. I don't. I don't get a good vibe at Buffalo. I want to put it in A because it's also like a sports bar. We have bar, to think but about the vibe as well as the restaurant but gives. But that's that's another important thing. Do people right. go to Buffalo Wild Wings for the food, or do people go to Buffalo Wild Wings for the vibe? People go for the sports. That's I what I'm saying. There's a bunch of sports right. related stuff. People go for the sports. So I think that is a good point. And not to discredit B. them, their wings are good. That's a good their point. wings are but good. It's pretty much just the wings, you know. That's not There's right. nothing else. There's there, no yeah. sandwiches. That well, are they good. do, but you know, they're, they're that's not, not what they're known that's for. Not, yeah. You know, so, no. so that's B. why I want to put it in B. Yeah, I agree. It B starts with Buffalo. a B, exactly. Specialty, so, specialty place. California Pizza Kitchen. Ass. CPK. Uh, I've never been there. CPK. I went once and ass. it was good, but it was I was like twelve. I've I've been a handful yeah. of times. I actually we ordered food from California Pizza Kitchen about a month ago. I had a flatbread pepperoni uh, personal pizza. It was pretty decent. I want to put it in C tier. Yes, yeah, so strictly I because uh, that it's expensive as shit and has absolutely no right being that expensive. <laughs> it that is, is actually they try correct. to pass themselves off as some like bougie ass pizza kitchen. Like you make pizza, shut the fuck up. Why am I paying thirty dollars? Honestly, for ass? honestly, it reminds me of like if Lean Cuisine came out with a pizzeria. Right? That's what it reminds then, yeah. me. Yeah, they made it look. So fancy. I'm gonna put this in C above Apple. And also just being from New York, yeah. like I feel like the like. We can give all of like Domino's and Papa John's. We can give them a pass because it's like we know yeah. that's not pizza. Real, yeah. yeah, but you got California pizza in your name, <laughs> and it's not even that. You're expecting me to pay top dollar for this? Be pizza or be nothing? That's right. literally yeah. That's right. it. I'll trust Joey's pizza opinion. All right, this is cut off, but I'm pretty sure that's Carabas, right? <laughs> yes, I've, I've never I've never I've been, been to Carabas. I think I probably have been once, but I don't remember, so I'd give it a D. Shout us to Rab. Never been to a Carabas. I've heard mixed reviews. Huh. Never. We'll put it in. It's the like a buffet, place. right? Never been. Yeah. What anybody is wanna, that? Anybody want to take a guess at that? I mean, that's definitely D because I've never even chick seen that before. Chicken salad and chick. Chicken salad chick. Chicken chicken salad chick. All right. Can we look that up? Oh, Can we deep. Google chicken that? Chicken yeah, salad that's, chick. That's getting Googled. Chicken salad chick is what it says. What do you guys think it is? Probably it's be a, like a chicken salad, salad bar. South, right? Yeah. Chicken salad chick, chicken salad restaurant, Alabama. Alabama, Florida. Florida, yeah. Two, south. It's all south. Well, I've never been there. I'm going to say it. I'm it's gonna, like south and Midwest. I'm going to make a, a bit of a hot take statement. Never been, but I bet it's fire. <laughs> I, I, bet it's, I bet it is. A lot of the, a lot of the a not lot of the southern in, places. Yes, yeah, southern oh. places know how to make chicken. That is true. They know how to make chicken. What is this? I don't know if it's up here. I don't see. I'm trying to think of the name. I can't think of the name. Never mind. Okay. Crazy we got King. Chili's. I think I've been maybe once. I don't remember. Should we though. went. Chili's? Yeah. We went. We went. While. We all went. We all went. When did we all go to Chili's? Except for Joey and the Poconos. We went to a Chili's? We went to a Chili's and we all ordered burgers and it was incredible. And the waitress was new. Remember, we, wa- take his word for we walked across the street into the parking lot. I'll take your word for it. Yeah, I'll take his word. We, walk, we take walked his across like the highway yeah, yeah, to get yeah. to. Listen, the I don't have any bad. I really <laughs> genuinely. Skydived. I got no bad. You weren't there. We did. <laughs> <laughs> I have. Wrong. I have nothing bad to say about Chili's. I don't think it's an S tier restaurant. No. I would put it in A, but that's only because out of these, I'd argue it's the one I've been to the most. I like, I've been to Chili's way too many times. I like. I kind of like Chili's. I like Chili's too. I kind of like. Also, Chili's if I'm, a lot. I might be, you know, sounding a little like, you know, Mr. Crabsy here, but I kind of like that everything's relatively affordable too. You know, like yes, you get no, the they have the two for two exactly. and then the three for. So yeah. I honestly want to put this in an A. a? It may be yeah. a low A, but I think a. it deserves. I think status. Chili's is an A. It's not. It's not like you know. It's nothing special, Bro. but I don't want it to be. Right, Chili's right. was like my go-to high school date place. Yeah, it was just affordable. <laughs> I took you there once. Yeah. <laughs> you did. Shot A. Young lovers. <laughs> Fucking. Uh, <laughs> All right, let's be real here. Chipotle is not a That's a fast restaurant. food restaurant. That is a fast food restaurant. Put it in D, bro. 
The yeah, food is really me. good, though. I, dude. I, the food is really good. I fuck with Chipotle so hard. But All right, look, fast, yeah. we're putting food. Chipotle in D because you you do not go there with a family and go. Okay, we're gonna sit down. No, yeah. there's no waiters. There's no menu. Fucking. Sit if your if your food comes in a tin, it's not a sit down restaurant. Now I want to look up if there is a sit down Chipotle, right? Well, there. Nah, we're no like way. maybe somewhere. Cause you pick up the food. All of these places nah, have a waiter. We're from New York, so yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. hey, take your burrito and get the fuck Jerry's, out. Yeah, what Jerry said. That's what I was thinking. It's too it's customizable. The whole, also, it's the whole yeah. point of you being. You got a to point. Exactly. And like, yeah. It's like Subway. It's like you know? a better Subway. Yeah. All right, Cracker Barrel, racist, but fuck, do they make great breakfast? I kind of want to put. That's what I've heard. I don't like anything like it just <sighs> bland it just bland in my opinion and I, that's not me being like oh i don't like it because they're racist in my opinion their food is just bland all right let's let's go around the table here have you been to cracker Barrel? Nope. all right that's done been once didn't like the food like the vibe all right that's the thing because uh, that's the thing it's the vibe i think we put it in b because it's more I'll, about i'll the put vibe. it in a b if you want to put it in C, I'll bite the bullet and say it's because they're racist. But I'll put I'll put it in B. That breakfast is pretty top. I'll put it in B. I think I, I had I had a red uh, I had a, a rocket pop mimosa I, when I went. I don't think <laughs> apple I don't think Cracker Barrels is, goes above Applebee's in my opinion. With the with the, what I mean, Applebee's, Applebee's offers, is the worst, bro. <laughs> yeah, but Cracker Barrel above Applebee's, I feel like there are better options in Applebee's than there is Cracker Barrel. You're fucking bugging. You're li- you're so bugging. Bob, you're but bugging I think hard. Bob. I think we put it in B. And then we revisit after Bob takes us on a date to. I Cracker will Barrel. take you literally to Pennsylvania tomorrow. There's one in like we... Connecticut. It's like an hour drive. Let's so are there <laughs> order within the tiers? Like, is Applebee's worse than California Pizza? Well, we haven't really done that yet. Oh, okay, we're, we're doing after really, exactly. Okay. I mean, I put that there because Applebee's is going to by far be the worst thing here. <laughs> oh, I've until had... we get to one that I see right now, that's definitely worse than Applebee's. But we'll get really? there when we get there. Oh, actually, speaking of that. Denny's is going in fucking the worst. Uh, I don't Denny's. like Denny's. Uh, it, it, Denny's is... You could try to save it. Uh, he, mm-hmm. Okay, this is what I want to say about Denny's. I feel like there is a special place in my heart for Denny's. That's fair. Because it's like, it's our version of the Waffle House because we don't have Waffle Houses in New York. But we do have a couple of yeah. Denny's. I would give Waffle House over Denny's. And I've been to both... <laughs> I hate Denny's with a fiery passion. Denny's is mid. Every Denny's opinion. experience I've ever had is the worst. With, what's up with the breakfast places being absolute, not shit. Chaos, yeah. Like chaos. Chaos. Get absolute, a Royal Rumble. Absolute yeah, yeah, yeah. madness. Every We're, Street Fight video, is a, a third of them are in a breakfast restaurant. No Cracker Barrel. Like no. Cracker they, Barrel. They don't, they don't let them in. That's <laughs> before it even gets exactly. that. Like some of these restaurants, you ask certain people and they would think it's like top tier restaurant. Like when I was a little kid, I thought some of these were fucking luxury. You know what yeah, I mean? I Olive Garden was top tier. Yeah, yeah, but no, no, but like we're, we'll get to a couple Nobody that were like it? nice restaurants. Also, can I just say, I know it's not here, but fucking Boulder Creek is S tier in my heart. I've never been to Boulder Creek. Have you guys been to Boulder Creek? No. It's like American Outback and it's All phenomenal. Right. We got IHOP. IHOP's IHOP. up there. Is a slap. I would give I that slaps. an A or an S. I would also give that an I'm gonna give it an S. I think I might give it an S. Is I can it, go for breakfast. I can go for dinner. I can go for lunch. Besides I'm a having, di- besides a diner, it's the best. Yeah. Option I don't you know. Have I don't for, think I put it in S. I think I put it in high A. Oh. I think it's on my. It's How one many, of my favorites on this. I think list. it's on my list. Yeah. I look at IHOP. I'm already thinking of what no, I want. Because I'm, yeah. I'm looking at the rest. No. Of the, if I'm being honest, I see like one specific maybe two specific restaurants here that are by far s tier and just ihop isn't there with it for me Ooh, let's revisit it just, okay. i'll put it in an a and put it in an a it. and we might move yeah it. that's definitely i'll put a it a in the highest a because that they, i agree with because i think there should be at least two or three s's all right you know longhorn steakhouse i don't think i've ever been never been never i went been. for the first time recently it's pretty good but i'll put it in d for the it's a steakhouse so i guess culture if it i had a burger it was solid you know that's what I could. I've heard it's it. good. I don't know what the fuck that is. Astel, Alistair some, some Deli, kind of deli. or something like that. I mean, it's a deli. It's not a sit down. I mean, I've know. never been there, but I'm I'm happy to look it up just out of curiosity. It got cut off. We don't even know what it is. I'm just gonna bro. type in Alistair Deli and something will come up. Maybe McAllister. McAllister's Deli. Look at that. McAllister's Deli, Georgia. McAllister's Deli is an American chain of fast casual restaurants. Then what's this hick version of the game you got, Bobby? Where you got all like the southern? No, that's a lot of them are in the south. Yeah, though. I know. If you think about it, there's not like, of course, there's always going to be a reason to go to a sit down restaurant, but New York has so much shit to offer. Yeah, that. we have yeah. like, bougie and you're always places, on the move. Boutique, you're really, boutique. I just wanted to see like the inside. Oh yeah, it's a legit spot. I think I've seen these when I've passed down on like oh, yeah, road yeah. trips. Never oh, stopped. No, that's a them. fucking Chipotle. Yeah, that's not a, that's not a sit down. You belong in D. Yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. 
What do we got next? We got uh, what the fuck is that? That is. <laughs> we gotta move. But let's move these. Mellow up. mushroom. Mellow mushroom. That sounds horrible. <laughs> I've never even. Mellow heard mushroom of restaurant chain. Handcrafted Georgia. pizzas and wings. Fuck, wings, bro. Georgia. All right. Well, these are both going in D. Feel free if we have any Georgian viewers, not mm. the country, to let us know. Oh, there goes the tier list. <laughs> to let us know if uh, if Mellow Mushroom or McAllister's Deli is popping off. But it's you know, not. Moe's is not a sit down either. It's just like a. Yeah. But word. it's good. Yeah. And also, I like is that Mo's. Charlie's. What the fuck is this list? <laughs> so these are all going in D. I love Charlie's, say, right? but Charlie's not, is yeah. fucking fire. Yeah, I think Charlie's is one of the most steak, underrated bro. ones, bro. But we're okay to put it in D. Yeah, because yeah, it's yeah, not yeah, a yeah. Okay. I walked past it at the mall the other day, bro. Ooh, I was like, oh, eight. you see the guy? Just yeah, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty long D. The Olive Garden. That is a C. That should be an F tier restaurant. That's a C. You said no, S. No, uh, C. Okay, about, here's the thing. mixed S. up. <laughs> I here's the thing. I, I, I when I, when I first saw it, I kind of wanted to put it in B because of the fact that it's an F in terms of Italian restaurants. Yeah, it does. It, it shouldn't even be considered a restaurant if being compared to the Italian restaurants. But I did have a good experience where I did the soup salad breadsticks. Look, I've never had a bad experience. I've at never the had Olive a bad garden. But you, like, like Dylan said, it's you're gonna a, have it's not Italian. You're going yeah. to have a tremendously better experience at any different Italian restaurant that isn't an Olive Garden. Right. You go to call it like Carmine's or something. Also, what pisses me off is the fact that their whole shtick is the unlimited breadstick, and then the breadsticks suck. So it's like I don't, I don't care. mind the breadsticks. No, nope. the breadsticks are they're not good. They're, they're all good. right. I've never been. They're not good. They're just dough. That's all it is. It's like they don't even bake it. They're just like here's a fucking it is kind of doughy. String of dough. Chew on this. It for is kind of and they're unlimited. Dunk, dunk it in the soup. That's also unlimited. <laughs> so, unlimited card. I want. I want to put this C. If you want to fight me for no, B, put it in C. Put it in fine. C. Throw it in there. I'm fine with putting it in a C. Oh, what is that Outback? Ladies and gentlemen, I think we found the first S. Ding 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 ding. I think we found the first S tier. I've been there once. What? And was it an incredible experience? Did you no. feel like you were in the outback of Australia? It did feel outback <laughs> <laughs> um, I had the awesome blossom petal appetizer that I oh, think yeah. is the the blue the highlight. Yeah. yeah, the highlight of the restaurant. And uh, a pretty, really good burger. Yeah. So I went there one time we I've went. I've never walked out of an outback unsatisfied. Right. It's always I think satisfying. There's better steakhouses. The bread that they bring you is fantastic. The bread yes. is like incredible. That, I want to go back now. Brown I've, I've only went good, once. Yeah. I've only went once, and I, I, it's not like if I see it, it's not like oh, I'm gonna go to there again. Pa- I have to try. Day, we're out. All right, Panera Bread. That's not a sit down restaurant. I have sat down at a Panera, but it's not. It's not. A sit-down. Mm-hmm. It's all right. if you walk into the restaurant, order your food, and then sit down. It's not a sit down restaurant. You sit down and then order your food. Okay. Red, Red Lobster. Red Lobster is pretty hype. I don't eat a lot of seafood. My, I wouldn't put it in that's an That's the only reason that's I didn't why. suggest it for my birthday because I know there's picky eaters. Yeah. My yeah. my father is allergic is allergic to lobster, mm-hmm. so I never ate there. Look, I'm going to speak out of it. First of all, I'm not really a big seafood eater. Granted, I've had like shrimp and stuff from Red Lobster, but everything else I've had at Red Lobster is premier. It's great. Yeah. For that reason, I'll put it in an A. However, speaking outside of my person, I, everyone who I've spoken to who enjoys seafood puts this at an S tier restaurant. So that being said, I'll put a. my sister likes Red Lobster. Yeah, right? and she yeah. likes. And it. we didn't even mention the Cheddar Bay biscuits. So. The biscuits. If we, if we were ranking kill. Cheddar Bay, we would be S. Yes. If we were yeah. ranking yeah. biscuits, bread. this would be the double S <laughs> tier. Red, red Lobster has mastered right the bread. So you guys I haven't want... been to Red Lobster since I started liking lobster. It's red fine. Robin, yum, yum. Is this the one that Jose took us to? No, we went to. Uh, Arby's, didn't we? No, 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 no. That was when we went to the mall. But one night, Jose took us to Long Island, and we sat down in a Red Robins. Yes, it was Red Robins. So I have been there, and I think you've been there, and Jose's been there, and we all had burgers. Okay, well, it's a burger place. Yeah, they were very yeah. good. I like it. I'll put it in a B. Yeah, I'll, I'll put, put it in, in an A. I like I'll it. put it in B strictly because I haven't Not really been. B, yeah. it's nice. B, it's a good burger. Sounds good. Ruby Tuesday. I don't think I've ever been to a Ruby Tuesday. Never been. Uh, never been. I may have gone once, but damn, these people are gonna think we don't go out and eat. It's like uh, Uber a lot Eats of these places are like uh, they're not really around. There's here. a Ruby Tuesdays in Long Island for sure. Yeah. Uh, I've, I've been. I don't remember. Yeah, it. I've been like once. I've but been. I don't know. What is that? D, Texas for, D for distant memory. Yeah, nah, I D think for th- no. This deserves to be here. <laughs> Have you been there? I've been there. Yes. Have either of you been there? No. Nope. What? Ruby Tuesday. Nope. All right. Let's put it in D. That being said, I take it with a grain of salt. I I think I've enjoyed the, the couple of times I've been to Ruby Tuesday. What is that next one? 
Texas Roadhouse? Is that? That's Texas what Roadhouse? I thought it was. Is it Texas Roadhouse? That's what we'll treat it as. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, I mean, regardless, I've never eaten there, so me neither. Me neither. All right, that was an easy one. TGI Fridays. This one's a real fresh in our minds. What are we thinking, boys? I, think I give it an A. a. I give, give it, it a, a high B, low A. I say it's like because it's like all in my head. I don't think of any of like the food being good. I think of appetizers. Uh, you know yeah. what's funny? I think, I think the same. I think Dylan. of potato skins. Can I, think I be of wings. real though? I think of that with the majority of these restaurants. This it's is always like, like a, the bread or the appetizer that yeah, that's kinda, the selling point. Kind of you're onto something. You're the thing is, uh, Fridays I've heard is like a is more just like for alcohol than it is for food. Yeah, where you just go and get appetizers and drinks because yeah. it's cheaper. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. Because our Listen, meals came out right, pretty hey, pricey. That's go. still A for hey, me. That's yeah, fire. Hey. I think we we need to start hey. going to Fridays in a different light. <laughs> I yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. All right, I've actually never been to Cheesecake Factory. Fresh in my I mind. Like I, I know a lot of people. I like was it. in there yesterday. I had bad opinions. It is a fantastic establishment. I went there and I had the food was phenomenal. I don't know why it was so good, but it was fucking good. Everything reviews. is very like moist and like the oh my god, it's great. I love <laughs> I've never that's been. The word. I, you know, I don't even food, really like bro. cheesecake factory. I don't even really like cheesecake, but that cheesecake that we had at freaking Friday's have you seen the, the menu, Cinnabon bro? cheesecake that way. Oh, they have I, they have it on the menu Look at, at cheesecake, cheesecake factories cheesecakes like. They just look beautiful. And like, you don't want to eat them. The menu itself is 14 pages. The menu itself God. is they made, cheesecake. They made a second. You can eat it. <laughs> they made a second menu called the Skinny Licious menu. Because everything on the regular menu is like 2,500 calories. Fire. Sheesh. Yeah. So what are we ranking this at? A? At is least a. a, it sounds like. At least an A. I'm going I don't by, think I'm going by that side in there. Do they serve like food or is it like yeah, a dessert place? They sell food, but it's kind of more of a desserty yeah. place. All right. Food. Waffle House. Look. Let me let me speak here for so a second. So is this like a culture list or is this like a food exactly. list? Exactly. <laughs> you you may have seen some videos about the Waffle House on the internet, but have you tasted their food? <laughs> Listen, for what you're buying, some pretty damn good waffles. All right. At the very least, this is in C above Denny's. Yes. I put it yeah. in B. I would also put this in B. I put it in B. I think it's a B. I think it's I think it gets in B, B just because people are excited to head into it, you know. Like, <laughs> <"Ooh>, you know? <laughs> <laughs> what the Let's go. Yeah, we're All see right. some people throw chairs and shit. Pick a nice what spectator seat. Uh, Ding Bang Cafe. Ding Dong Cafe. Ding Bang Cafe. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Ding Bang Cafe. All right, well, right? I, I don't think we know what these last two are, but just to just to specify, we have Ding Dong Cafe. <laughs> what? Wait, it was Ding Dong Cafe? I don't know. Something like oh, that. Oh, there it is. Minnesota? I don't think this is I it. Don't think <laughs> that's, that's, right. Right. that's not it. That's uh, something else. That's definitely <laughs> not it. Uh, <laughs> what is it? Ding Dong, bro. And the other one is... It also, cafe, say, I think. Is that fat? I thought Maybe? it said. F- <laughs> the right, the on, other one is on. fat. Something. Hold on, hold on. Let's look up fat cafe. That might be something. Is that what fat it says? Fat cafe. F eight. Nope, that's probably not it. Oh man. Fat cafe. <laughs> this isn't it, bro. Sit oh. down restaurant. I don't think it's called Fat Cafe. We'll find it. <laughs> <laughs> there it is, bro. That was Google. That was Google. Okay. It's not me. <laughs> God, hold on. What, what you can't, you can't like, click them to like, a large enough. There? You guys can't read this. It's Wild Ooh. Wing Cafe. You guys are Ding Dong Cafe, bro. I saw it immediately. <laughs> he said it. Ding Dong. No, I don't know. No, I can't. Bro, and when it's when it's expanded like that on here, like it grains every all the words. God, <laughs> Ding Dong Cafe. No, it's Wild Wing Cafe. <laughs> the fuck is Wild Wing Cafe? There we go, restaurant chain. Wild Wing, where is this? South Southern Carolina? And Eastern. North Carolina. All right, interesting. 44 logo. But that logo is... doesn't look like the one that's shown in here. What the other? E Cafe? Is that what it is? E8? No. Possibly. No. Honestly, we, we're not going to know what this is. Does it not yeah, say I Fat mean... Cat? Fat Cat? Or am I, am I bugging out? Maybe it's a Cat Cafe. No, it's not Fat Cat. Nah. Yeah. All right. We don't know what this is, but uh, it's deep. So <laughs> I'm glad we figured that out. Nice. Sorry for Ding Dong Cafe and that. <laughs> Damn, so we want an Outback or, or, or God, Robson that's going to that's gonna pain me or forever. Chili's. What happened? So we're going to Chili's next then, right? All right, so let's figure this out here. <laughs> uh, I'd say we move IHOP to S. I IHOP think to IHOP S. is S. All right. Is any any of these other all also deserve to be an S, or do we have the S's settled here? 
Chili's is really good, but I think we leave it. Chili's, yeah. we leave. Chili's is up to us to determine. You know what I'm saying? We gotta go. Yeah. We gotta. We gotta see this for ourselves. I yeah. think uh, most people would say Red Lobster, just because it's seafood. So our Red Lobster S. Yeah, because there's no other. I don't think even even the you other ones people like, wouldn't really even order for seafood. the seafood lovers on our channel. We'll put it for it. Yes. Chili's high A. Chili's high A. I don't Chili's think Chili's an S. Cheesecake Factory better than Fridays. Yes. Yeah, I think so. Is it better than Chili's? Mm. Not classier than Chili's. Is it? It is classier, Chili's? but is it it's better not, than it's not better. That's what I'm I don't talking think it's about. better than Chili's. All right. Uh, what are we looking at here? Buffalo Wild Wings. I think that's fair. I think Buffalo Wild Wings is the spot. I'll right put there. Red Robin here at the end because that was a pretty biased take. I think this is the important one. Look. Cracker Barrel Waffle House. This is like the tale of two. Uh, You're gonna have cultures. Cultures. yeah, right, cultures. right. It's like it's like whoa, whoa, what side are you on, guys? You know what I mean. <laughs> You're gonna have to take it from me, right? I am a democratic libertarian who enjoys him some Cracker Barrel. Okay, <laughs> the food is phenomenal. They just got their alcohol license. It felt like a year after the pandemic because they were like, shit, we gotta bring people back to the Cracker Barrel. Probably yeah. not the best. Listen, it's an ex- you eat your fucking your food. You go through an old timey store, then you sit in a rocking chair for ten minutes. No. I don't know. I don't have good experiences. I went twice, and like the people there are not friendly. Because you're have, you, have has anybody <laughs> ever been friendly at a Waffle House? <laughs> good point. Good point. <laughs> I'd rat, like. I'm not being. Look, honestly, it's not even one that I prefer. It's if you go to Cracker Barrel, you're gonna get like the fake. Well, howdy, how are you doing? And like, okay, cool. Yeah. You go to Waffle House, you're gonna get the real. All right, what you want? What like you want. either way, mm-hmm. all right. they're gonna be interesting. Experiences. You go to Denny's, they'll shoot you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's not. The it's fuck either, is it's, up, Denny? It's, it's, it's you get shot what or there's the a metal concert. Up, there's Denny's. no in between. Yeah. All right. Is that settled? Are we good? Okay. Word. All right. All right. California Pizza Kitchen is not high C. Nope. But <sighs> can I put Applebee's high C? I, 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 Applebee's I is the highest C. Highest of the, all I know of you said it's shit, Bobby, but I feel like it's high C. All right. It, it, compared to I'll these? put I'll put Applebee's high C if I can definitively put Denny's the the bottom tier. Yeah. All right, yeah, I'm yeah. happy with that. Yeah, and I then, like that. I'm better. sorry, but I'm doing yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, that's correct. Yeah, yeah, this Perfect. is the that's right so way. Correct. So that's that's the list. Yeah, yes. there you go. That's the list. All right, <laughs> we figured it out. All right, move Charlie's up the S tier. And- <laughs> <laughs> now, before we leave, what the fuck is this eat cafe shit? Is it eat? It's not eat cafe. Chain, I'm, here, I'm There's American no comment section in these tier lists that you can like. List of American chain, re- no, it's chain sit down restaurant. Because it's gonna give me everything. But it gives you Chipotle. Chipotle's gonna sit down. Yeah, but I feel like Wikipedia. We could, yeah, casual dining restaurant chains. Um, go down to like E or F. I was about to just do this. Cafe. I thought that's said Big Dickards. <laughs> Buffalo's Cafe. No, no. Okay. No, okay. damn. These are like international too. Oh wow! Click on the up and down, so it just takes you to the thingy. We're going to find this, guys. Buffalo. <laughs> Let me see. Cafe, man. Yo, can we go to Dick's Last Resort? Nini's Cafe? No. That's no. Like, God, that was so close. We're not going to find That might be it. Uh... Is you sure it's not Mimi's? It was like eating. Yeah, there's an A and a T there, Dylan. Yeah. Imagine you got it right. Nah, yeah. it's definitely oh, not it. That's not it. That's oh, elegant as man. shit. I never heard of that. Yeah, I don't think we're finding this, guys. That's all right, though. We tried. Not wait, yet. wait. What? I saw it. Fat Cafe. No, you didn't. Ah, uh, you capping. Yeah, you capping. Fat Eddie's? Oh, like, that's Fast, fast. Eddie's. You Damn, I am blind. <laughs> you got it, bro. Ding Dong Cafe, bro. Man, I really wish I knew what that was. Piccolo? It's gonna eat me up. Man, what the hell is that? Maybe it's defunct. Maybe it's cafe. uh maybe it's the person's tier lists cafe that he's trying to promote. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'll find it and I'll I'll share it with you guys and we'll all be like, oh, we've never been there. <laughs> yep, I, I'm glad we settled that though. Maybe that's maybe we've all been there. And so it's what's an next? We got a s- ch- chilies to settle chilies. That's the that's the next. We have to fight restaurant chilies. we're going to. I'm, I'm going to chilies. Chilies. Welcome. Right, I'm down. I'm down. Hi, welcome to chilies. You want to talk about these? Uh... <laughs> Shout outs to basketball. Shout outs to clothes. Shout outs to these guys. Yeah. Cause whoa, what the fuck? They got rid of uh, Coach Nash. The Rockland Jets. I was talking to my dad about this really quick. I okay. thought it was kind of interesting, right? That the Brooklyn Nets and the Boston Celtics 
both got rid of their coaches at the very start of the season for two different reasons, and they're both sitting at the top of the conference. Very true. Sure. I was also reading a thing about it, how apparently a lot of it is I it more so in Brooklyn's front. How I remember I mean, we were, we're guilty of it, too. I mean, like, every time we've spoken about the Brooklyn Nets on this show, it's rarely about basketball, and no. it's usually about trades or Kyrie Irving shenanigans or who Lana Rhodes' Drama. baby is and shit like that. But fucking lately, for, like, the past two weeks, it's just been basketball with the mm-hmm. Nets, and they've been fucking putting in work. Just in general, the last, like, two months of basketball has been some of the best sports. It's of been insane. Everyone has agreed that it's, like, the best any sport has ever been. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. that is crazy. We have LeBron at 37, who's scoring, like, 40 points a night. Yep. We have people, I want to say, in a span of two months, three players had top 10 performances of all time. Yeah. Like, by stats. Yeah, like, that's oh, super aggressive. Donovan yeah. Mitchell score what was it? Seventy four. Seventy three. Seventy three. Why this year? Jeez. It's like this is the year. Luka, yeah, everybody. Luka Doncic was defense. two back to back over fifty point games. Mm-hmm. One was a triple double with sixty twenty and ten. Mm-hmm. It's just like the new meta. Like it's all yeah. like all right, like, and it's all European yeah. players. A lot of the times, it's like players that like they don't they aren't incredible, but they're still able to have incredible performances, yeah. which I find it to be insane. And the Nets, who have one of the best teams out there. Mm-hmm. Surprise! Not surprisingly, because they're like a super team, but uh, it really goes to show you, like, uh, oh, it's kind of surprising because it took three years to <laughs> fucking figure it out. But yeah. really goes to show what you put your mind to. What do you think, Joey? <laughs> um, the only thing I know about sports right now is the New York Giants made a TikTok that made fun of this girl, and everyone's like, "Oh, is that fucked up or not?" And I'm like, "Huh, that's funny in my opinion." <laughs> so and there's it's Joey's pretty, take. It's pretty that's, funny. That's my take on <laughs> the sports. Funny, yeah. It's back to basketball. <laughs> Yeah, I don't even know how to go. I mean, it's just like probably one of the best. Like, uh, Can we talk about how Luka Doncic dropped both of those 50-point games in between himself filming content with Dude Perfect mm-hmm. at their headquarters? That's what, what? Yeah. <laughs> that's, how he, that's how he did it. Like, he know? even jokes in the video. He's like, I got a game tonight, man. And he's fucking like doing like <laughs> half-court right shootout. Right <laughs> we got Luka Doncic from the Mavericks, and, man. And then we wondered why he scored 59 fucking points. It's yeah. like, yeah, he scored from like not even looking, bro. Of also, Luka's hilarious. Like, it's, it's it's easy to look at especially yeah, at, it's easy to look at athletes especially like basketball players yeah. who are all fucking giant and forget that we're older than some of them because Luka Doncic is just twenty four yeah. yeah. And it completely shows in all and, of his and interviews. It's, He's it's, like, I play Overwatch and I fucking <laughs> like you know what yeah, I mean. I play yeah, Hanzo. Yeah, yeah. He, he <laughs> Luka Doncic reminds me of like the funny foreign exchange student. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah. He's just kind of like, <laughs> like he literally it's like, slaps, it's like slaps. him or Giannis. They're yeah. both the yeah, same. Yeah, yeah. They're he, both the fucking he literally same. scored like a game winning shot where he scored like twelve straight points and he literally celebrated by jumping in yeah, place yeah. and laughing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they, like, they sure, took a video. You know, it was in it was in New York. It was against the Knicks and he scored a ridiculous game winning shot where so, he like yeah. caught it in midair, twisted yeah. his body and made it. And all his whole team is popping off, and everybody in New York is like, fuck, because it goes to overtime. But how Lucas celebrates is he's like, <laughs> like, he's just a happy, silly kid. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's funny. And all the captions were like, damn, you're going to do New York like this and then fucking celebrate like that, bro? Like, damn. That guy's funny. It's just, honestly, it's it really is just good, like, marketing, too. You know what I mean? Like, everyone is, like, being themselves. Everyone's, like, friendly. Like, there's beef. Yeah. It, there's a lot of beef in the NBA, but for the most part, everyone's, like, friendly. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I think Jimmy Butler, like, got not fouled, but he lost the game, essentially, against the Nets the other night. And they were like, oh, get back up, bro. What's up? They dapped it up. And I was like, yeah, everyone kind of, yeah, everyone's friendly. You know, yeah. and, like, Were players it. never this, like, sociable or something? Because you guys are saying, like, oh, they're, they're showcasing a lot more of themselves. So no, they never like. I think it's just the turn of social media. Too. Yeah, yeah, it so is. They didn't have yeah. that opportunity. Plus, back like in back the in the day, like basketball was like more of like a beefy sport. Like everyone, it was just like more about the beefs. Like mm-hmm. Jordan versus this guy. I'd also argue basketball back in the day was also a very territorial sport. It yeah. was like when a player found their home, they didn't leave it until they won a champion. Like that was a big thing. Whereas nowadays, it feels like you see trades happen every fucking. The first yeah. person to do that, I would feel like, was Shaq. Mm-hmm. Shaq was the first guy to get into the league and be like, no, I'm a star. I'm going to be in a movie. I'm going to make a rap album. Like, he was the first one to really be like, oh, you can be like a, I could do a, a figure. You don't have to just yeah. be like the stout guy who like... Yeah. Uh, Michael Jordan too, but Shaq was the one who yeah. really like took it to the Yeah, to the yeah word, word. Mm-hmm. Maybe we'll watch it upstairs, but... Uh, Not even in a bad way because yeah. it's deserved. Shaq no, is hilarious and he's a great personality, yeah. but... There's a show on uh, YouTube called Beef History 
where they go throughout sport. Yeah. We watched it before. Mm-hmm. We watched. I think we watched uh, LeBron. Uh, and the, what's, what's this guy? Lance, uh, Lance Stevenson. Yeah. But uh, they basically go through yeah, and they talk yeah, about the history of, of like <laughs> two funny. players who just like hate each other and what they go through. And, and also their similar <laughs> the upbringings. Lance. The basketball ones are the best too because basketball, they just don't. They're so dramatic. Yeah, dude. yeah. The, this one I want to watch, we can watch it after this. But this one they just did between Zach Randolph and Blake Griffin. Didn't know I needed that. And it's probably one of the best things I had. That's fire. It's all right. Somebody just flushed something and now. Oh, okay. water is yeah. going through a I pipe. Thought it sounded somewhere. like a radio. It sounds static, different, like, you know. That's why. I was like, "Was that radio?" Oh, let's let, let's let the viewers listen. Ready? That's what we're listening to right now. It's beautiful. <laughs> Hope they heard it. The we actually a have a marble waterfall in the <laughs> yeah. studio, guys. Yeah. Anybody got any last things to to add to our wonderful discussion here? Uh, yeah. yeah. I I really want to have a uh, I want our for our first sponsor to be like one of those like shady sports betting websites. Because oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. whenever we have one, we talk about sports. and like, We could just swing it, right? Yeah. <laughs> right into this. Yeah. Yeah. Or have, like, we have a guy we cut to on a Zoom call who's just, like, gambling in Vegas. And he's, like, on cocaine. He's like, yeah, guys. <laughs> fucking broke this one in the night. We're like, our gambling correspondent. <laughs> our, our gambling correspondent, Chip. <laughs> Ray Barrios right, or some you. shit like that. Oh, I don't know man. much about sports, but I know like skateboarding is popping off in Japan. It was always popular everywhere, oh, but it's like you, popping you, off you really hard. hard. Go, man, Yo, that boy. little like how how old is that kid now? That little kid that he's you follow? six. That six year old skateboarding kid. That kid, he was Japanese. In yeah. like five years, we're gonna be watching the X Games, and like it already is. But even yeah, in the future, now it's gonna be all. We lost to Japan in the twenty twenty. I was uh, I was joking around about. I was gonna joke around about it and be like, damn, that little kid's gonna be like popping nine hundreds pretty soon, but. I actually looked up a list of like every skater that's ever pulled off a 900, and I think one of the few players that's ever done more, like uh, I forgot what it was called, is actually like a 13 year old kid from like Brazil or something. And a big reason why yeah. he was able to get the extra rotations is because he weighs smaller. Or yeah, something and like you can, that. Yeah. I was like, damn, you're lighter. Crazy. Yeah, yeah. I was like, damn, that's crazy. But and fuck that. Imagine fatter, being, you fall. Yeah, imagine like, being 13 years old and having the balls to do that. Like, shit. like I'm just, <laughs> that's crazy. enough about 13 year old balls. Yeah, enough. <laughs> You don't want to keep talking about it? No. no? I'm good. Joey, you sound very comfortable talking about it. No. Yeah. I think it's time for Jam and Yam. Jam and Yam. Don't get so quiet when I fucking... Everybody was like... No, I'm staying quiet. You're supposed to like scream. I'm fucking flustered, man. I'm just going to stay quiet when you talk. Oh, my God. That was 40 minutes ago. Stop being a bitch. You're just mad that Holding a vendetta, bro. I was trying to think of a restaurant you like that we put low. It's going to be like you're just mad that we put fucking... No, I'm happy IHOP is up there. I'm actually pretty satisfied with that list, I can't say. As long as Denny's is the absolute worst. No, I get you. I'm fine. I'm good. Denny shouldn't even bad? be considered a restaurant. <laughs> Denny's the worst. Denny shouldn't Jerry. even be considered a restaurant. Denny's is the In fact, oh, we man. should take Jerry to Denny's so he can experience <laughs> Watch Denny's. Watch be mad good, bro. Watch, Watch us come back and we're like, listen. We're going to end up at the best yeah, Denny's, bro. Get ready for Denny's. episode 124 of the Joystick Show where the thumbnail picture is just our heads down and it's called We Were Wrong About Denny's. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's one in like Jackson Heights that's like new. There is. <laughs> so there is. Just go there. We used to drive past it a lot. Oh, it can't. No, not new, but yeah, like four or five years ago. Yes, I think that's like the only one in New York, maybe, or New York City. Jam and yam. Jam and yam. It is time. Would anybody like uh, to start? Yo, I'll go first. Oh, shit. Yo. It's like the second time you've ever done that. I'm going to start with uh, my song, which is, well, it's not my song. Yeah, it's it a song by the rap duo Bad Meets Evil, which is composed of Eminem and Royce the Five Nine. Yo. And it's from their album, Hell the Sequel, which Ooh. came out. On January first mm. of twenty eleven, mm. I like how short he looks. Next, why, time why are you? Yeah. Separate? Is there something coming after this? <laughs> no, <or something? laughs> oh, the song like, is called Fast Lane. Cool. It's a good album. You know, you know why they're called Bad Meets Evil? They used to. Have, they had a song a long yeah. time ago called Bad Meets Evil. Song they worked yeah. on. Yeah, oh, that's dope. Yeah, it's on one of uh, Eminem's first albums. Which McCloud? I've been mad busy lately. To but I have been playing. Mu- I played music when I was making breakfast for my cousins because they were here from Florida. And uh, this song came on, and I was jamming as I was, like, cooking eggs. It's called uh, Candy Cane Forest by Keep Flying. And uh, they're, like, a ska punk band. Mm-hmm. That's it. I love Keep Flying. Ska punk. Keep Flying's mad good. My song is uh, My Fault by Juno. Uh, there's a new trend where uh, every, like, it just happens to just be the black hyper pop artists. But I feel like they rap over anything. And this is, like, a, like it's like a chiptune beat that then turns into a dance beat. Okay. And then it turns into like a techno song. Fire. That yeah. sounds fire. But he's rapping over it though. It still yeah. kind of sounds fire. fire. Mm. Cool. My fault. 
So real quick, I just want to, I, I did have something I wanted to speak about today, but we'll, we'll hold off on it for next week. I just want to yeah. give a quick shout out to a song called, <clears throat> maybe butchering, butchering this, but it's called Yumeji's Theme by Shigeru Yume Bayashi, which is uh, the theme that plays throughout the movie In the Mood for Love, which uh, <laughs> I have said many oh, negative yeah. things about, <laughs> not necessarily the movie, but that song specifically, which I'll get to again in a week. Uh, but after re-watching the movie and having different thoughts about it, I wanted to shout it out because the song that I once hated is now sitting on the jams, which I think I think it's that's some good catharsis right there. That's growth. Yeah. You said growth. it plays that's like humanity. nine times or something like it that. It plays exactly <laughs> nine. I used to bullshit and I used to say that this song played like every five minutes in the movie. I looked it up and I was like, how many? Once I found the name of the song, I was like, how many times is Yumeji's theme? Nine times. Yeah. So not just like little. The full song, the nine full times. Song. So. Just wanted to preface that. Love a good theme. But believe it or not, team. now that I'm an adult cinematic man, <laughs> great fucking film. It's a great movie. Fantastic. <laughs> but, however, I will be uh, faithful and give Jam of the Week to a song that's originally by the band Metric. It's called Black Sheep. However, I want to give it to the Brie Larson version from the Scott Pilgrim vs. the World film. Yeah. Only because mm. that's actually been one of my favorite covers of that song since the movie came out, and they just put it on Spotify like a few months ago. So. You said that. We nice. were in the car, and you were playing it, and you told me so, that. I was like, no uh, way. Black Sheep, the Brie Larson version. Do, do, do. That's it for episode 123 cool. of The Joystick Show. That was a fun one. Really got through all that uh, that restaurant mumbo jumbo. Needed to happen. Heard. Yeah. Stay tuned because we got some fun stuff in the uh, in the works for you here at Joystick. And uh, we'd really appreciate it if you could like this episode of the Joystick Show and subscribe to your boys because we need it. We need the help. We need to keep the lights on. It'd be cool. Uh, without further ado, before, uh, before the lights turn off and the cameras go bye-bye, does anybody have anything left to say to our viewers? Bye, Smack. Yeah.